Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will discuss the topic from changes around us. Let us see the objectives of this unit. We will study reversible change, causes of reversible change, change of states, solid, liquid and gaseous, irreversible change, physical change with examples and we will also discuss chemical change with examples. Before moving towards the topic, let us see what is a change. A process through which something becomes different or we can say that it's an event that occurs when something passes from one state to another state. For example, day changes into night, seeds changes to become plants by the process of germination, resting of iron and changes in the weather. If we see the type of changes, we have two main types of changes, reversible and irreversible change. Now let's see what is reversible change. Reversible change is a change which can be reversed back to its initial state. For example, freezing of water to ice and melting of chocolate. These are the reversible changes. Now what is irreversible change? Changes which cannot reverse back to their original state or original position. They are known as irreversible change. For example, cooking of food and ripening of fruits and blooming of flowers. These are the types of irreversible changes. Now let's see what is a reversible change. If a change can be reversed, it is called a reversible change. This means that it is possible to get the new objects back into its original form. A reversible change can take place both ways. This change can be brought about by natural process as well as by the human activities. Make a boat out of a sheet of note paper. What you have to do is to change the shape of the sheet paper from a simple rectangle into a boat like shape. Now you want to make something else from the same sheet of paper. How can you do so? It is simple. Just unfold the paper and make an aeroplane with it. In this way you can change the boat back into a sheet or paper. The use it is to make a aeroplane. Example of reversible change. Let us study some examples of re reversible change. Take a balloon and blow air with the help of mouth in it. Care should be taken that it does not burst. You notice that balloon changes its shape and size. This type of change is called reversible change. Now suspend a rubber band and a steel spring from a separate hook near a wall. Make their positions on the wall. Now add a weight of 100 gram to each. What do you see? The rubber band and the steel string get stretched. The rubber band stretches more than the steel spring. Make the new positions on the wall. Remove the weights and observe. The rubber band and the steel band return to their original positions. You can conclude that the stretch of rubber band and steel spring is a reversible change. Irreversible changes. Do you know how seeds grow into trees by the process of germination? Or how snow melts and the water flows into the river? Have you noticed how does this happen? Actually, these are considered as changes that takes place around us all the time. Let us now look at the irreversible changes. Let's try breaking an egg, beaten it for an omelette. Now let's fry this egg on a frying pan. Can you now get an original egg back? Let's cut an apple into four pieces. After cutting the apple, can we get the whole apple back again? These are changes that cannot be reversed and are called as irreversible 
changes. Now the type of changes on the basis of forming new substances. If we see these types, we have two types. One is physical change and the other one is chemical change. Now what is physical change? In physical change, no new substance is formed. That means there is no new substance formed in a physical change. In physical change, only size, shape and appearance changes. That means you can change the size of the object or the shape of the object or, your, or its appearance, but you cannot change its properties, chemical properties. No internal changes occur. For example, evaporation and con condensation, knitting of clothes. Chemical change. In a chemical change, new substances are formed. In chemical change, new substances are formed. The new substances will definitely have different properties than the previous one. In this change, substances change internally. In physical change, they only changed externally, but in chemical change, they change internally. For example, conversion of milk to cheese and burning of paper or fuels. These are the chemical changes. Physical change. Physical changes are changes in appearance only and new substances is not created. Chemical bonds are not formed or broken. For example, take a stack of paper and cut it into a smaller pieces is a physical change. It still has the same properties. Another example is cutting someone hair is a physical change because the hair has the same properties as the original hairs. Phase changes are physical changes. When an ice goes from a solid to liquid to a gas and then back into a water, those are all physical changes. Most mixtures play have physical changes. For example, Mixing salt and water together is a physical change because the salt and water can be separated out later on. Next is chemical change. Chemical changes on the other hand create new substances. It involves breaking or making of chemical bonds to an atom. There are few clues or indicators of a chemical change. First of all, if you have a burning or a fire, you you have a chemical second a temperature change without heating or cooling is a chemical change third an explosion is also a chemical change a change in color is also a chemical change or a change in in order is also a chemical change thank you so much for watching please subscribe to this channel